Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Well, um, in case anyone hasn't noticed, but, uh, I'm gonna, I have to do something here totally different. I had to kind of jimmy rig this. Um, like yesterday, when, um, when I was playing the sounds of Jupiter, um, I thought I'd go ahead and, um, in kind of keeping with that tradition, um, what you're seeing, what you're about to, what you're seeing here is the planet Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. It's also the smallest planet, and I think it's also the fastest. So, um, but uh, the problem the problem I'm having now is uh, trying to find a trying to find the right YouTube video, which I couldn't. Um, either a the um either a they got the uh, they got the thumbnail just right, which is what you're seeing here, but they ended up totally screwing up the music. Like it's not just the sounds of Mercury. They gotta throw in like extra dark ambience or ASMR bullshit or I think one video they actually threw in some damn uh, symphony orchestra crap like really so so it was either either it was either or so what I had to do is I had to kind of jimmy rig this so what you're seeing now is um it's what I saved to I had a I had a screenshot this off of Google and then um save it on my paint program so that's what you're seeing right now but what I am going to do is, uh, I'm going to, oh, and that was another thing, too. Um, some of these, uh, YouTube videos, they have animation in them, which it just, it just kind of, kind of gets annoying. And they, some of these animations have the planet actually rotating, um, which, uh, after reading about it on Wiki, uh, Mercury doesn't really rotate at all. Um, it is what's called a tidally locked planet, like, um. It's like, it's like one side of the planet faces the sun at all times. It, it's kind of hard to explain. I guess uh, if you ever play something like first-person shooters and maybe some MMOs, uh, you know how you can lock onto a target, like when you you lock onto a, like an enemy or whatever, and you'll automate and you'll, and uh, basically all your movement is centered around that locked-on target. That's how a tidally locked planet like planet like Mercury works. It's basically locked down to the sun so that one side of that planet will face the sun at all times. So basically, one side of the planet gets all the sun, all, always gets the sun all the time, and the uh, opposite side of the planet gets nothing at all, at all times. So that's how a tidally locked planet works. So, like I said, these a lot of these YouTube videos don't get it right. Like, they show Mercury as spinning, which... Eh, nope, it's not how it works. So, but anyway, let me uh, go ahead and get this music going. Or I should say, quote unquote, music. Okay, and um. Alright, I might have to turn that down a little bit. outside and so yeah but there is animation going on in the background so this might uh, jack up the file size some but okay. but uh but anyway um this did kind of inspire me to, I oh whoa 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 let me stop let me stop, um I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy, uh, peach mango flavored, so get ready for some pops. Otherwise, um, I didn't really do a whole lot. Um, I just, um, did kind of a quickie pinball session, and I actually did, and like yesterday, I kicked some pretty serious butt on, uh, Pinball FX3. I beat, uh, I beat like three or four high scores. 
So that, that was pretty good. Um, and I actually did all right on Pinball Arcade. Uh, came close to beating one of my uh, one of my other, one of my previous high scores. So yeah, I think maybe I should have. I think maybe I should have streamed it or at least uh, recorded the session. But but yeah, I, even then I was only on maybe a half an hour at the most. So but uh, after that I just went ahead and um. Again, I was in one of my uh, space exploration uh, moods. It just um again, it was kind of inspired by doing a by doing my cast yesterday. So just what just watch some stuff on planets, and uh, I also uh, I watched an astronaut uh, named Chris Hatfield. Um, I think he's a I'm thinking he's a legend. He's one of the more famous one of the more famous astronauts. They had him doing commentary on a bunch of movies, and man, this guy went off. I'm oh my god, was he so critical? And it was it was so wonderful. To, it was so refreshing to see, cause um, most of these uh most of these kind of videos where where um the experts in their field are critiquing stuff on movies, they they heap an awful lot of praise on them. You know, it just like I even, I think um. I recall even uh, there's even a few Michael Bay movies out there. Even those were getting high praise from these experts. I'm like, shell, you know. So, but no, not not this guy. I mean, yeah, and he had. I think uh, I think they had one movie, Armageddon. That's a Michael Bay movie. Yeah, he he was all over that movie, man. Just chewed that movie off for being so unrealistic. Um, another one, uh, actually, uh, I saw the, uh, I saw this movie at CinemaSins, uh, called Gravity, like, 2013 or something like that, Sandra Bullock, and, uh, uh, who's the other one? I can't remember his name, but yeah, that, that was an, I thought, uh, I think that was another, that was another movie that, uh, CinemaSins panned the shit out of. But yeah, but this, but yeah, Chris Hadfield, he went off on this movie, too, about how unrealistic it is. But again, it's it's nice to see something like that, especially um, I mean, especially you know, or let me like, hang on, let me think, let me collect my thoughts a moment, because it also it also kind of shows how passionate he is about his work, you know, I mean, it's just you know, as as pissed off as he was about some of these movies he was critiquing, I mean, you know, he's got to love his profession. But again, I mean, a lot of these, um, a lot of these other experts that I see critiquing movies, they, um, or at least in my mind, they, they are giving way too much praise to a lot of these. And again, when they're, um, when they're even praising Michael Bay movies, yeah, I, that makes me highly suspicious, because, I mean, he's, I mean, Michael Bay is definitely one of those that just, he, he basically just says, screw realism, and just, throws caution to the wind, you know, who cares, man, it's my movie, I'll want to, you know, I'll, I'll make it how I want to make it, you know, that kind of thing, but, but yeah, these experts even give, even praising his movies. But yeah, but, I mean, but yeah, no, it's kind of a byproduct of me watching a lot of uh, space related stuff. I was uh I was uh, spending a lot of time too trying to get the uh, trying to get the uh, Mercury video just right or finding the the right sounds. Cuz what you're hearing right now is what Mercury sounds like. But again, some of these uh, a lot of these other videos they had like ASMR crap, they had dark ambient crap running in the background. Um, you know, and I, and like I also said too, uh, one of these videos I saw had fucking uh symphony symphony orchestra crap going in the background. Oh, I should I forgot to mention too, I still have this big canker sore just underneath my lower lip, so it's making it pretty painful to talk. I thought it was pretty bad yesterday, and well, it's gotten worse now, so. But yeah, it, it, it is, um, 
But yeah, it is something that I really enjoy doing from time to time. Just checking out stuff on outer space. No, not, not Star Trek, not Next Generation, nothing like that. Like, actual solar system stuff. Like, you know, NASA stuff. Um, those that I've been, those that have been checking out my cast from way back when probably already know this because a few of my casts involved, uh, live streaming space shuttle footage. Or a space station, I should say. So, I but uh, I pretty much had to put the kibosh on that though, because it really jacks up the file size on these things. Makes them take a lot longer to load up, or a lot longer to upload. I I still wish uh, I still wish there was a way that I can get a hold of the old, the old original Earth footage, like back in the '90s when I first saw it. That's the kind of that's the kind of shit that makes me drop drop what I'm doing and just stare in awe at what I'm seeing. Yeah, you know that kind of thing. But I mean the the Earth footage that you see these days they're like high def, they're HD, 2K, you know, 2K pixels, 4K pixels. It's just not really my cup of tea. I want the kind. I want the kind of '90s Earth footage where it looks like. Oh, and I let me let me rewind a bit here. For those that have seen my earlier casts, I'm pro I'm pretty much repeating myself here. But I mean, I want the old uh, '90s Earth footage where it looked like somebody stuck an old VHS camcorder right up against the window and recorded it from using that. That's what I want to see. That kind of footage. I mean. I mean, having a seeing seeing Planet Earth. In a full 4K HD, it just kind of kills some of the luster, some of the luster of it. Gives it, you know, kind of gives it that that slick, overproduced look, but something I'm not a really big fan of. But yeah, I'm uh, and uh, my future casts, I'm uh, I'm hoping to do more of the same on these. I don't know what planet I do next, but this whole thing kind of got sparked by uh, me watching a video um, on planet sounds, all the sounds that all the planets make, and the moons as well. I'm like, man, it it is some scary stuff. I mean, I'm I find this stuff more intimidating than say my all-time favorite horror movie. Ringu. It's like Japanese horror. For some reason, I'm finding the, um, I found the, uh, this video on the, on all the sounds these planets make. I find it to be a lot more scary and intimidating than even watching my most scariest horror movie. Perhaps, or perhaps because to me, perhaps because of realism, like, these planets actually exist. And they're actually out there making these sounds. So yeah, that that's probably whereas uh whereas Ringu, you know, just Japanese horror. I mean, it's all it's all made up, you know, made up fantasy. I mean, a hell of a lot more creepy than you know than the stuff you put out here in this country. But still, yeah. And yeah, I think um. And I think what you're hearing too, I believe this is like a, a minute and a half, two minute loop. Like that's that's all that's that's all I could find. Like the actual the unlooped Mercury footage or the Mercury sound footage is like a one to two minutes long. This is actually a, a ten hour video. And they're just gonna keep looping this all ten of those hours, so But like I said, it's the best I could find. Oh and um, oh and uh, I watched uh, I started rewatching a pinball movie called a uh, Special When Lit. So that that's pro as of right now, it's probably my favorite pinball movie, or I should say my pinball documentary. So 
this is definitely a kind of the kind of documentary I'll be going back and watching again and again. Um, and also before I forget, I I forgot to write this down on my notepad, but um, uh, I've also been um for those that don't know, um, I've been playing a game called Dragon Ball Fighters. It's a 2D fighter. Um, and I actually started watching some um some replay footage on um on YouTube, and it's like man, I I mean I, I'm a I am a total beginner at this game. It's like, even, you know, even the combos, or even with the skill I got now, just, it's not even scratching the surface of the stuff that I'm seeing in these videos. Like, my God, these guys are freaking experts at their craft. And, yeah, there is no way I'd be able to hold a candle to these guys. So, I mean, I, and I kind of said the same thing on my previous cast. It's so great that, uh, it's so great that, uh, I got uh, that another beginner found me, and we started playing together. You know, because I mean, if I uh, if I ever went up against one of these pros, I would have no idea what I was doing, nor would I actually, nor would I actually learn anything. All I'd be doing is going in, maybe getting a hit or two, and then sitting back and marking time while he while he does his 150, 200 hit combo on me. It's like I shouldn't even bother playing him. So yeah, like I said, it, it's so great that um that you know that I'm playing with another beginner now, so we can learn and develop together. Um, but, but alrighty, well it looks like um I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, but. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, bye for now, everybody. Take care.